evening, fellow Toastmasters, back to Toastmaster and guests. Good evening. Good evening. I need to turn this over here for a minute. I forgot to turn the page. I wrote down some things that I wanted to discuss while we were here. If someone is angry with you or you are angry with someone, how do, you do, how do you get your points across without shouting and criticizing one another? Being angry and upset at someone has happened to all of us. And how we diffuse the situation shows how our emotions are going to, how uh, the outcome of this situation. Some people are good at diffusing verbal criticism. Some are not, but it takes practice. We have two types of images that we project to other people. The first type is our self-image. That this is the image we perceive of ourselves. The image consists of our beliefs and how we feel about life. The good, the bad, the wrong, the right. This image is formed in childhood by our parents, friends, family, teachers. Uh, if we receive a positive bringing up, then we have a healthy self-esteem and a positive image. The second image is our public image. This is the image that we want others to perceive of us. It's the image when we want somebody to think we're honest, you know, teen person, funny, that what we want others to feel about us. When you are criticized, one of these two images are damaged. And once your judgment is pulled against you, you become defensive. And what I mean by that is you, you know, you, someone has attacked something that you've built up for a while. And how do you defend that without being confrontational and aggressive. <coughs> How, there are four responses to criticism we have. The first one is the withdrawal. This is a criticism that you accept. When somebody criticizes you, accept it. You don't know, non-responsive. You don't, uh, the conflict doesn't es escalate because you don't react to it. It's not a good one because it damages your self-esteem, your self-respect. Your self the second one is a rationalize. When you rationalize, you admit that there's some merit to the verbal criticism, but, and then you try to explain what's going on, but that doesn't work a lot of time because it falters and it messes up. For example, if a husband forgets to get an anniversary gift, anniversary is always on the same date. So if he comes in a house and doesn't have what he's supposed to have, there's, there's really no rationalization for that. And while he's making up these things to say, she's poking holes in it. So that's not too good. Then we have the counteracting. And this method is, direct, is to direct the negative attention from you to the person that is the criticizer and his or her faults. An example of that is like, okay, maybe you're supposed to take the trash out. You'll take the trash out. And your wife might say, well, why you didn't take the trash out? You, you never take the trash out. And you say, well, you always got this trash over here, and you never put it in the trash can. What you bother me about the trash for when you're not doing your part? You're taking it off of you and putting it on her. Then we had the responding to the non-respond non-defensively. In this method, you listen to the person, non-judgmental, calmly, and understand the need of the person to communicate. After listening, to the problem, then you determine how to work with the person to solve the problem. This is the most productive and rewarding, but it takes the most effort. How do I respond non-defensively? That's kind of hard. That's kind of hard for all of us. But since you asked, I'm going to tell you. First, you listen with an open mind. Ask questions. Find out the hidden feelings. Once the feelings are addressed, it'll be easier to determine what the issues are and resolve the conflict. Second, you acknowledge. Let the criticizers know that you acknowledge their criticism. Their opinions and feelings consi uh, deserve consideration. And if the criticizers feel as though you, you are listening to them, it reduces their anger. Third, you ask questions. If you need more information to get a clear understanding, what is going on, you ask a question. And remember, you have to be sincere. Sincerity, being sincere is vital. Fourth, you paraphrase. You use your own words to convey what the other person is saying. 
So when you do that, they feel so you're listening and you understand. And if there's a problem with what's going on, then you can feed off each other. And they'll understand what's going on. And, and they like that. Fifth, you agree with the truth. If the criticism has merit, say it. Don't deny it. That only will make the criticizer angrier. Okay, so if, if you don't have to agree with the interpretation of it, but you should give acknowledgement to that there's some merit to it. If you do all these steps, these final steps, the issues and the problems might get some resolution. 